All right, hey guys, uh, we're in the living room again, and uh, it's a little late at night here. Well, it's actually uh, six o'clock in the afternoon. Happy New Year! It's uh, January twenty second, two thousand fifteen. I remember dreaming of this date when it was nineteen eighty eight or something like that. Watching Back to the Future Part Two. I think it was eighty nine actually. Yeah, it was eighty nine. Anyways, as promised, I'm gonna show you my bar top arcade here it's a little dark in here right now but yeah I'm gonna uh, go through step by step what I've done <clears throat> and uh, yeah so it's a little dark in here you guys sorry about that I could go and quickly pause it and grab a flashlight but the control panel I can remove but I'm um, holding up and wiggling it out here. There's the control panel. Got the uh, the zippy right there. Zippy short stick. Uh, some illuminated buttons here. And they needed 12 volts all in all to power. Got a Zinmo one player um, chip USB right there if you can see it. Hey guys, I'm sorry. I should have made it a little brighter in here. But I'm just going to keep going anyways. These are chrome buttons and stuff. And got tab and uh, escape there for MAME. And inside there is a Pentium 4, believe it or not. Uh, compact CPU. It's running on just a uh, normal um, uh, the uh, video card that's in there. Like the uh, online built-in motherboard on the PCB. And so, yeah. Oh, there is a light over here. Hold on a second. Let's turn on this light. Be better if I had it over there. Hold on. I'm going to pull it. John's Arcade. And show you everything that I do because I don't want to edit a video. I don't really have to. So, let me just turn that power bar on, plug in this lamp, there we go, okay, all right, way better you guys, how about that, all right, so, another look at the control panel there, got the uh, zippy four-way, running off micro switches, one player and two player buttons right here, uh, chrome, three button, red, green and blue, and two generic white buttons for uh, tab and escape with MAME. All right, so in the comp in the machine itself, you got a hard drive there. I think that's uh, 80 gigs. Uh, compact or oh wait, there you go, Dell. I almost lied here. There, it's a Dell uh, Asperio or something like that. Anyways, yeah, I took it apart and threw it in there. It was small enough. Uh, there is a there 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 is an AGP port. Right there, I didn't use it because well, I'm just running MAME. There's uh, one PCI slot, I think 64 um, megabytes of RAM. Right there, two 32 megabytes. Power switch, and there's a mouse. And a keyboard kicking around here somewhere. But yeah, there's a keyboard. So this is how I turn it on. And eventually, later on, I'll make a toggle switch at the top. So just turn this on. Little green light came on. See the green light's on? Yeah, everything's on. Yeah, see, so Dell. Now I could uh, put this away. Turn this off. There's the uh, lighted buttons. That's always cool. They're running Windows XP. So I'm going to send that quickly with this control panel uh, back in its slot there. I'm not going to lock it in place. I'll just leave it. So yeah, and oh yeah, the uh, marquee at the top here. I forgot to uh, plug it in because I was going to show you guys that. So here's the uh, light for, oh. Okay, I just accidentally shut off the game again. So, turn it on. Okay, so let me just plug this in now. Hopefully it doesn't glitch out again. Okay, so now the uh, marquee lights up there. 
there's uh, a a uh, little uh, I guess I can't show you I, I kind of taped there I screwed up here on the you know on the edges here and I need to get like some sort of filler got black tape up there right now I know it's ugly but I'll f figure out something but yeah see if I peel this back here you could totally see behind there but I want to actually show you th there you guys there's a compact fluorescent tube light right there and it's lined with tin foil I know not the greatest but and here's like in the last video that flimsy piece that I had printed I guess I can't show you but right behind the plexiglass which I went to another company to get that done so yeah I know it's not the greatest but it looks cool right now it's not done oh and uh, I'm using Mala front end and for some reason it loads up a game that I don't want loaded up but it loads it up anyway but this is a cool game to uh, actually show you there they got an electronic bezel here on this version of MAME and it shows you the instructions and see if the camera can actually this is a bootleg ripoff let me just exit out of here for a second yeah that was a bootleg ripoff I have a volume control buried behind here there we go it's kind of like behind the marquee and stuff I have video, I'll show you guys the videos that I had when I made, when I built this game, where everything is. See, here's 1942, and it has its own electronic bezel, see if it could zoom in for everything, so let's coin her up. For some reason, it's not working. Oh yeah, there we go. Player 2 is coin up. Play one. All right, one hand, guys. Just to quickly show you, got about two minutes and 23 seconds left. But yeah, so electronic bezel, which is pretty cool, because um, like I said before, this side right here and this side right here, I painted, and this bezel in between electronically is perfect. But yeah, it's a bar top arcade game. Anyways, there it is, and this button gets you back to the menu, and this is front end Mala. So, let's try some, this is my favorite game here. Uh, battle, um, 1943. And it, too, has its own electronic bezel, as you see that, and that's pretty epic. So, let's coin up the game machine. And press start. So yeah, so this is in uh, 720 uh, HD, so, well, I like the camera, not the graphics. Alright, this is one-handed Billy Mitchell style. Pretty basic, so. You could totally pull a Billy Mitchell on this one. You always want to get power in this game. Anyways, you guys, yeah, so this is the uh, bar top arcade machine that I made. And you can see the profile there. On the profile over here. So yeah, I built that in uh, early 2014. Not bad, you guys, not bad at all. All right, you guys, well, uh, thanks for uh, watching and uh, like, subscribe and stuff and uh, all that happy fun stuff. All right, have a good one, bye.